Welcome, everyone, and again, we're glad you've joined us for the Called to Coach series. I think we're going to go ahead and get started. We're pleased that you were able to join today, and we're very excited to begin this series of calls to allow strength coaches all around the world to share their best practices on how they are leveraging the tool of Strength Finder to have an impact on the lives of the people that they coach. In just a moment, I'm going to turn things over to Jeremy Petrosini, who will be coaching or be hosting our call. Jeremy works as a consultant and coach here with Gallup and helps serve our clients to maximize the talents of their people and optimize their performance. So without further ado, I welcome Jeremy Petrosini. Thanks, Heather. We are uh, really excited to have everybody on today. Um, one of the things we've been hearing a lot from uh, coaches, both with client organizations and external coaches, is just always wanting, having an eagerness to want to learn more, what's next, uh, what's new. And so we're really excited to just begin this series, as Heather said, to uh, allow an opportunity for just a quick pause in your weeks, in your days, to, uh, to just hear from others. Um, one of the exciting things that uh, has happened at Gallup here over the last six months is that we have um, launched a couple new opportunities to empower and equip coaches outside of Gallup. Um, for a long time, we've heard from people, uh, you know, when can we get strength codes, not just through a code, but through an online resource. And last fall, uh, we actually launched GallupStrengthCenter.com, which many of you have accessed, um, to just build a resource and a capability for you all as coaches, whether it be within a corporation. We know there's many listening today that have been partnering with Gallup for years, um, and your companies have continued to do that. And in other cases, some of you are independent consultants or, or brand new just trying to dis discover how to equip and coach people within your organization. And so we are really excited as an organization to want to continue to do what we've done for over 70 years and really listen to people in a way that we can help equip leaders to impact the 6.8 billion people in the world. One of the things that our leaders have uh, committed to is we are very behind uh, the idea that we are not going to reach a billion-plus individuals just on our own with our own Gallup consultants. And so it's our vision to see a network of over a million coaches that would help us reach over a billion people. And so many of you on the call today, you're part of that network, a part of the start of that network. And we want to continue to just enable you and empower you with tools and resources to do that. So I have the privilege today of uh, interviewing and just hearing some of these thoughts and best practices from one of our coaches who's uh, become a friend of mine, uh, Brent O'Banion, who uh, is in Texas. Brent has been coaching since 1993, um, early adopter to Gallup Strength Sciences in his coaching practices. And uh, one of the things that, that uh, Brent has continued to share is just his own excitement for uh, the way that Gallup has come alongside him and has begun to empower him with new tools and resources to change the, change the lives of the people that he serves. A um, couple of quick things about Brent before I, uh, I let you kind of share part of your story, but Brent's not only an executive coach, but he has conducted uh, over 27,000 coaching sessions over the last 20 years. Uh, he's spoken over 60-plus organizations in the U.S., China, just actually got back from the Middle East last week, um, and his commitment is really to help organizations, leaders, and teams to go st grow stronger, work smarter, and live richer. So, Brent, I want to I want to kick it off to you to just share with us why are you a coach? Obviously, even that last little statement I just shared of grow stronger, work smarter, live richer, helping clients do that. Why is it, or what has compelled you, or helped you feel called to coach? But Jeremy, it's a delight to be on the call today with Gallup and yourself and Heather and, and all the other coaches and aspiring leaders and coaches on the call. And just like many of you, you know, when I was 18 years old, I started to ask the question, what am I going to do if I ever grow up? And so I started seeking, you know, the answer to that, and I had what I would call a a calling experience, where I felt like I was supposed to to help people. I didn't know how, and so I remember at that time that I had a mentor, uh, actually in my local church, who would go to nursing homes and to mental health hospitals, 
And he would basically give devotionals, and he got sick. And so he asked me, Brent, would you be willing to do this? And I said, oh, I'd love to do that. And so that's how I started at 18 years of age, uh, basically sharing positive, empowering messages that would in- encourage and empower other people. That's great, Brent. I mean, I think for so many people here, too, and, and again, the commonality, whether people on the line are from corporations or independent, I think the commonality is there's something within us that we want to help others. Um, share share a recent success story, because I think a lot of times for us, we get, we get um, caught in the day-to-day of coaching, doing what we do best, helping others, uh, but just to hear the impact that it has, to hear what is it that you get to do maybe recently, um, in your last trip or, or things that you've done as a coach to really see the impact that it has to really help others. Sure, sure. And and, and let me just say that, I, you know, all of us have our own journey in, in developing as a, a leader and a coach. And, you know, for me, I, I went on and got my bachelor's degree in psychology, sociology, and communication. And then eventually, in 1993, I... I finished up my master's degree in behavioral sciences. So so really the first part of my career was more of a licensed professional counselor helping families and helping individuals. And, and it began to transition more to – I started having a lot of leaders, uh, you know, business leaders, and I also was doing some employee assistance program consulting with larger organizations. And that's where the door began to open up to go more from a counseling approach to more of what I call a coach approach. And over the years, you know, I've been always trying to find what is that that niche, what is my, what I like to say, my superpower. And when I discovered my top five strengths, that is when my eyes really began to open up to, to be more clear in how I can help the world. And so about a year and a half ago, I was having a, a webinar, a teleseminar, very similar to this right here, and I was sharing uh, about strengths, and part of my message is, you know, how do you maximize, how do you monetize, and how do you mobilize your strengths? And one of the people that were on that call was from California, and I'm pretty sure that that individual is on this call today. And he heard my my passion and my message, and part of my passion is that I want to mobilize strength ambassadors around the world. And and part of my vision is 10,000. And, of course, I love the vision of Gallup for you know, one billion people taking the Strengths Finder assessment, but also one million coaches being trained. And so he referred me and connected me to someone in the Middle East. And so just recently that trip, uh, I just got back just about three days ago, and I'm just now recovering from jet lag. And it was an amazing opportunity to actually do coaching on Strengths with Afghanistan leaders, open-minded leaders. And so just to see them uh, hungry to see what's right with themselves and to see what's right with other people and, and how to use that to to not only develop their personal life but also to develop their business and develop their, their leadership brand. And so they were incredibly inspired. Of course, my bucket was filled because I got to go to a new culture and, and have a, an impact on other people around the world. And I know that's what many of the coaches on this call are all about. They want to make a difference in people's lives. And many of them do have a vision to also share strengths around the world. And I, I would just say one other quick thing. I think this is, um, you know, in some of the Gallup training that I've recently gone through, I've gone through all three levels of the the new Gallup Strengths Coaching classes. 
But one of the things that Kurt Liesveld had, had made a real impression on me is, is how our strengths are paired together. So it's not just looking at them individually, but when you, when you pair them up and you combine them. And so I created what I call a strengths mission mantra. And I think this is what the Afghan leaders really appreciated the most. And this is an exercise I'm going to encourage some of you coaches, if you haven't tried this, that you could do this. But you take someone's top five strengths, for example, focus, individualization, achiever, command, competition. And then what I like to do in my coaching is ask folks to choose no more than one or two words that most describe that strength in them uniquely. So basically you have two words per strength, and so you have like about ten words. And then I ask them to craft it into a one or two sentence mantra. So for example, I'll use my own. And this is a mantra that I say every day. In fact, I even encourage people to record it on your your mobile device and listen to it daily to help strengthen your mindset. And it also helps you give clarity to who you are with your strengths combined. And so mine says, I am purposefully on target and a perceptive strength spotter. I produce a power supply of clear, courageous leadership and enjoy the thrill of coaching winners. And so I shared that, that technique with the Afghan leaders and you could just see the the new clarity that they had about themselves and and how they fit within teams and that was a true success at least in my eyes yeah brent i, I love i love that exercise and even just again the practicality of it i think sometimes we get caught up in our coaching when we're thinking of individuals of how we help them that so much of the onus is on these five words. You know, when you're thinking about Strength Finder and the signature themes and those top five, um, it really is important to understand and remember and help the individual understand and remember who they are. But what's more important is the exercise you just did with that mantra um, at Gallup a lot of times in the trainings we do, we'll we'll refer to it as their individual or personal brand. Um, Mm -hmm. And so just helping them think about with these top five things, it, it's not just an I'm a woo or I'm strategic, but giving them, even as you did, just pulling those words out of the paragraphs and those signature themes that they can link together um, into a couple key statements of who they are and why they exist. Um, and I, I love the way you did that. We just did that. Heather and I actually were leading an exercise with a group earlier this week where they did that same thing. And then even within that, had them just circle a couple key words Um, Because just like any brand, whether it's Apple, whether it's Toyota, Lexus, um, Coca-Cola, if we asked each other, you know, what are some key things that emulate that brand to you, we'd all think of a couple key words. We may not know their mission statement, purpose, values, um, but for us, when we can have that mantra statement of here's who I am, why I exist, and boil that down to a couple key words, it really does help us as coaches to enable the people that we coach to do what they do best, to be reminded of that every day, um, and again, to, to even simplify it where they can put it on their computer screen, um, even put it in the uh, signature of an email to let their team members know who they are and why they exist. So you mentioned something too, Brent, with um, you know Kurt Leesveld, who obviously one of uh, Gallup's you know senior coaches, um, author, um, you know Kurt you know, has written a lot of the content that, that we leverage and have, have now again made available to external coaches as well. Um what's what's a piece of advice that you've gotten um along the way as a coach? As you again, you've been doing this for, for twenty years, but even the last six months of um kind of Gallup letting you a little bit more on the inside to say, hey, how can I do this better? How can I do it the way it was intended by Don Clifton to be done? What's what's one piece of advice that you've taken away um, that you could you could share you know with with all the listeners today? You know, as I've been uh, learning even more from from Gallup's training, and uh, especially Kurt, you know, as one of my mentors, uh, definitely it is you know how do you 
utilize your strengths not just by yourself independently, but how how can you use your strengths in context with other people? And we need other people. Strengths, in fact, certain strengths really thrive on you know, having relationship, uh, relationship organ strengths, or even influencing strengths, they, they have to have other people to be able to, to shine and to become its best. Well, what I've experienced on a practical level in my own business as a coach is that masterminds are one of the best ways to, to connect with other people and to also, just like the term says, mastermind, which originally came from Napoleon Hill, thinking grow rich, mastermind is the concept that all of us are smarter than one of us. And so when we start sharing information about strengths and we start, you know, describing how our strength plays out in me, it's almost like you get a 360 view of your strengths and your weaknesses your lesser strengths, and the more that we can courageously be authentic with what our strengths are and what our, what I like to call our weaknesses or our leaks, like leaks in a sailboat that we need to plug with our strengths, is, is we need people. And so masterminding, so I would encourage coaches out there, you know, there are paid masterminds, there are Masterminds that you can start yourself. The mastermind is the is the number one way to help me grow myself as well as grow my business as a coach. No, that's that's great. Look, a couple questions keep coming through, Brent. Back to the mantra thing, which I think is I think is great. I mean, I think again, if I could just make a comment to all the listeners today. Um, Part of what we want these calls to be is an opportunity, again, to just share best practices. It's a little hard with um, a thousand people listening listening mm-hmm. in to, uh, you know, to just open up the lines. But um, a lot of questions keep coming through, Brent. Again, it's just recapping for us, if you could, the mantra piece of, like, what were those, what were those key steps, again, that you reiterated with that? You bet. So encourage your client to write down all five strengths. And then just write out beside that strength, for example, focus. Uh, the, the three words that came for myself are purposefully on target. And so you write those one, two, three words right there beside that strength. So for individualization, for me, perceptive strength spotter, that's really what individualization does in myself. For achiever in me, that's my number three strength, I, I call it, uh, it helps me produce a power supply. It's all about production. It's all about, I call it my divine restlessness. My command strength, my number four strength, is my clear, courageous leadership. And then my competition strength is, my number five is the thrill of coaching winners. So once you get those words, then you craft a a paragraph or a mantra that you can say that resonates with you. So I'm purposefully on target and a perceptive strength spotter. I produce a power supply of clear, courageous leadership and enjoy the thrill of coaching winners. So I hope that helped, Jeremy. No, that's great. That's that's absolutely perfect. So you mentioned something a moment ago to Brent, just about um, developing yourself as a coach, and I just kind of want want you to dive a little bit deeper into that um, before we wrap up here. But I think you know one of the things, and being a coach myself, I know a lot of times we get so caught up in um, helping other people, investing in others, um, analyzing other people's uh, themes, and maybe you, even the exercise you just mentioned um, with the mantra, how you did that for yourself. What are some? What are one or two key things that you've done? to continue to improve yourself as a coach, as an individual leader, um, you know, for your, your business, your independent consulting business, um, as well as, you know, in your in your community and with your family? Yeah, I think that's a great question because if we're going to be able to give long-term and help people all around the world, 
we have to take care of ourselves. And I remember one of my very first uh, supervisors, mentors, I he had been in uh, practice for, for a long time, like 30, 40 years, and I asked him, I said, so what's the best thing in order to continue not to burn out and be the best, you know, helper and coach, what did you learn? And he told me, he said, Brent, always continue to learn and relearn everything you think you know. And that's been my one of my mantras over the years is I, I read voraciously and as well I listen to a lot of audible books. And I, I think this is also where you know, no matter how much we learn, we can always continue to learn in new ways. That's why I chose, uh, you know, six months ago to invest even though it is an investment, um, it, it's a price to pay to, to get into the Gallup training programs. I'm a big believer that if you, as a coach, want people to pay you well, then you need to be able to pay high amounts of money to invest in yourself. Yeah, I think it's just uh, it's a incongruency to, to expect other people to pay you well and you not be willing to pay others to grow yourself. And so investing in the, the Gallup training was something I wanted to do because Gallup is known as being the best for the science and the research of strength. And so that's why I wanted to study with Gallup. Um, you know, my superpower is about the application. You know, that's what I've learned in over 27,000 coaching sessions with people. And so I, I would encourage every person on this call to continue to be willing to invest time, money, resources, whatever it takes to study and grow with those that you respect and you esteem. Now, here's the other just quick second thing. And at my stage of my career uh, as a coach, you know, what I discovered is collaboration and joint ventures is a great way to multiply and have more synergy of helping people and create a win-win-win, a win for you, a win for the other person you're venturing with, and a win for your clients. And so I know at my website, with strengthsfindercoaching.com, you know, one of the things we do is called the Strengths Ambassador Inner Circle. And so by people coming on that call and listening to other strength experts, it's a way to collaborate, joint ventures. I, literally, I've had, I've had people be on those calls, and now they are working together. They're writing books together. They're creating programs together. They're collaborating and generating new ventures that are literally helping spread strengths, and to help the world be a better place. So I highly recommend that. Awesome. That's that's great, man. Um I think there I think there's so much there that you said again of just what it takes for us to be at our best so we can be at our best for those who are wanting to help. So and again that's that's the passion and it's it's always fun for me, Brent, to hear that from people like yourself outside of Gallup. I know I was a passionate advocate of Gallup as well um, prior to joining the organization eight years ago, but just there's so many things about this um, that enable people and organizations to be at their best. And again, it's, it, you know, Brent hit on this um, to all you listening, but we really are in a, a, a exciting season here at Gallup where just wanting to empower coaches externally. We know there's a lot of you out there, again, some who have been using this within your organization, some as independent uh, consultants or coaches, and we just want to help you do it right. And so there's different resources that we've made available, um, some very simple. Again, I mentioned the Gallup Strength Center um, site that we launched again last fall. Um, if you're online and see the screen, you can see the website there of just gallupstrengthcenter.com. Um, it has there, too, the, the exact link to some of the coaching um, courses that Brent was talking about. Um, there's several that we offer that um, you can dive into, anything from just a, a couple-day-long successful strength coaching course, um, as well as uh, if you want to dive more into 
individual performance or coaching managers and teams. We've got three different courses available, and we also offer now uh, that we just started uh, here last month an accelerated course, so a five-day training um, that we've begun to do uh, both here in Omaha, also launching cor- courses in D.C., um, also la- launching in London. We had a group from Japan uh, come over just a few weeks ago. So it's really exciting, uh, even as you just shared, Brent, for the, the global impact that this is be- beginning to have, have and will continue to have. Um, as of this morning, we had um, just over 8.8 uh, million people that have completed Strength Finder, and again, uh, it's exciting. It's it's fun to hear those stories, but we're still a long way off from a billion, and we know we can't get there without individuals like yourself that really feel that sense of of being called a coach. So we're excited about these opportunities. Um, we uh, are excited too, just for the opportunity, Brent, for you to tell your story, share some best practices. There's a lot of questions, again, um, little things that you guys have have chimed in with that we just don't have time in 30 minutes to answer. Um, Several of them, even around, you know, specific themes, self-assurance, others. um, Some of you were asking, too, just about some of the components that that, um, Brent talked about specifically. A big part of this, you guys, is to educate you, to deepen that education. And so on the um, strengthcenter.com website, we do have an opportunity where you can click on that for um, being part of an, an email group. There's a blog site that uh, you'll see blog posts from indiv- individual and independent coaches like Brent and others, some of our Gallup coaches. There's an opportunity there for you to submit a blog if you've got ideas. But we really do want to just continue to create a network for this. So some of the things that Brent talked about, too, you can go to uh, his site with strengthfindercoaching.com and, and dive a little bit deeper into that. Um, but we just want to continue to create a network where you guys can learn and grow. Um, so I'm going to pass things off to Heather just to kind of do a quick wrap-up here. But we intend to uh, to continue these calls um, on a monthly basis. We want to hear ideas from you all. Um, Gallup has some ideas on, on how we think we can uh, pass along this information. But it really is uh, us doing what we do best at Gallup and listening to the opinions of, of those that matter. And in this case, individuals who feel called to coach, we want to hear what is it that we can do on these monthly calls to best equip you and give you some of those nuggets to help you do what you do best. So, Heather, I'll let you wrap up. Thank you, everyone, again, for joining the call today. And I want to make sure that you recognize that today's call was recorded, so you will be able to log on and re-listen. I know there were parts of things that Brent shared that many of you were asking if we could put up on the screen or reiterate. And so if you want to go back and re-listen to the recording, you absolutely can. Um, We're just appreciative of your participation today. And as mentioned, we want to hear your stories about the impact you are having on leaders around the world in whatever space you dwell. So reiterating again, the goal for the calls is to stimulate your own thinking and to continue to give you more and more resources to grow. Um, please feel free to use either of these, the, the email here or to go online for more details. And thank you again for joining us. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye.